Hey guys, we're back to uh, episode 2, so remember, this game adapts to the choices and how you play and blah 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 blah, I didn't get to read the entire thing. Um, so we're back with episode 2, and, uh, ooh, ooh, I wonder what's going to happen in this episode. Episode 1 was crazy, if you haven't watched that already, go back and watch episode 1, and then come back and watch episode 2, you can find it in the playlist. That you can find it in the playlist. Three months later. Ooh. Dang. Just killed him. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, a bunny. Looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, Poor rabbit. that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. The uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. <laughs> We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. Yeah. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Hopefully. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Larry's just some Seems like crazy he's got a problem with old you guy. In particular. <laughs> Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yep. And knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. And bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Oh my god, what was that? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Oh, Come on. it wasn't Kenny. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. You gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Oh my just god, just you because your him out. dad was special that, forces doesn't mean you whatever. know what you're doing. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh god, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, oh shit. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never 
Beverly, please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh shit. There has to be. Oh, oh. Do something to catch you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go! Oh my god. Lee, it has to be now! Is he? He passed out. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh shit. Ah, oh, great start to another episode of The Walking Dead. Whew, holy crap. Crazy. Episode 2, Starved for Hell. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking... He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all gonna fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. They're here now. We can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. 
I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Oh, shut up. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Look, I can't do this right now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. That's all you're giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. We have four food items for ten hungry people. Here, friend. You need something to eat. I'll be back in a bit. I meant to give her the apple. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Why is the apple Are orange? More? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yep. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Ah, oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh my god. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. We want to make good with help. Larry. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh. I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Okay, I fed everybody. Not such an easy job, is it? No. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. 
Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Nope. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yep. What about the other kid? Ah! Uh, Kiki. The axe! Hurry! Oh my god! Get out of the damn way! Damn it! I had it! Oh my god. Uh, S. Shoot it! Oh, thank god. Whew. You okay? Yeah. Holy Thanks. crap. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Well, jeez, no one needs to have a cow. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? That rhymed. Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Oh, Whoa, lady, okay, relax! Okay, there's new people now. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. <laughs> she can actually use the word legit. Seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. 
Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Nope. Valentine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. It well, is, it you is. Guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Let's get to Looks the like it. safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Oh wow, it's electric. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I wow. thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John and welcome to this. Okay guys, so that's it for this part. Stay tuned for the next part where we find out what is going on at this farm. Um, so until next time guys, see you around.